Hello and welcome to Code Harvest. In this video, we will be working on the products page of our website, which will be our second episode in this web series that we are doing. Now, last week we did the we worked on the home page of our website or index of our website. And now we will be uh, showcasing all our products. So let's go over to VS Code. Also, link um, for the first episode is in the description down below. So now let's go over to VS Code. And um, so I have downloaded, pre downloaded a few images that we're going to be using. Um, for example, this blue dress. And each of them have a background of the color white and i've also created a new css file so i so everything that is above um is just everything that styles the navigation bar so let's move um over to making a new div and we'll just include the title that we are going to be uh using and we're just gonna say all clothing all right, um, now let's create, let's start creating our list and we'll just make our first, include our first image. Source will be images, products, uh, blue dress. And now we don't need this. And let's just uh, keep a width. Actually, let's work on the width and height later on. And now let's work on our UL. So we'll need a few properties included. So let's go over to our website. And as you can see, the image and uh, the title is seen. So let's change the properties of the title. So we'll go over here and change the font size to be of 40 pixels. Uh, we also want this to be aligned, this text to be aligned to the center of the page. And if we want our font weight to be a little lighter than that, we'll want maybe um, a 500 font weight. By the way, we're using font family of Poppins. And that looks much better. So now let's work on our UL. So let's just create a um, ID and we'll call it layout and let's work on this on the CSS file and now we'll go here oh sorry we'll go here and create our layout ID and what will we include we will include a display of flex and we want our content to be justified with space around each box so we haven't created our box yet so we'll um, need white boxes which will um, outline our images so each image has each box included a white box so we'll have to change the sizing the width and the height of the image and the box and each box will have a default width and height and we will adjust our images accordingly now we will also need uh, our flex direction to be off row since we want a row of images and we'll also include flex wrap so let's just wait for this to load okay now let's include flex wrap and now let's include our flex wrap to be wrap so that um, each, as each image is laid out in rows, um, if space is not enough, then I'll just move to a new line. And let's include a semicolon as well. Okay. Now, so obviously this is just, this layout ID is just basically the content. Or basically the container so each in which each white box will be in for an image and now let's work on our layout item so we'll just make this a class and we'll call it layout item and 
let's go right here and include that class. Right. So over here, now we'll actually need to change our layout item properties. So we want, so this is basically the white box. And so we'll make our background color to be white. We also will want a box shadow. And zero pixels, zero pixels, eight pixels, RGBA, zero, 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 uh, zero point two, zero point two should be fine. So let's uh, so let's go here and reload the page. Oh, and as you can see, the box shadow is now visible. Okay, and now let's quickly change the border radius as well to 5 pixels, our width to be 300 pixels, and our height to be 500 pixels as well. And when we hover around it, we also want a transition of 0.5 seconds. And now let's go over here and work on the hovering effect. Okay, so we want, we actually want to, while we hover it, we want our image to actually enlarge. So we'll put a scale of about 1.5. So let's go here and as you can see, um, when I hover around it, it transitions in 0.5 seconds and it enlarges. But I personally think that's quite big, too big, so I'll change it to 1.15. And also we want a border radius of something much, much uh, curvier or rounder, so we'll put about 20 pixels of a border radius. And now let's go here, let's go over to the HTML page and actually add our content. So in each white box, uh, we basically want a, we want to include the name of, um, in the name of the product. So we'll call this blue floral dress. We also want to include our description and we'll just use the lorem generator and copy paste some text as well. And we also want to include the price of the product. So we'll just say our price is $100. All right, um, now let's look at the clothing. Okay, so it looks fine. But now what I want to do is add some properties. So let's go over here once again and include a class and or not really a class just an ID and we will call this IDP name so that we won't have to include the style properties in the HTML page we'll just include it in the CSS file we'll also include another ID and we'll just call it um, pdesk and our Third ID, we'll call it P price. So P tag and then price, P tag, desk, P tag, name. So let's go over here and include the properties that we want. Now we want our text to be aligned to the center since you can see it's all to the left side. And so oh, this is our home page. Okay. Now we also want a font size. We want the title's font size um, to be about 25 pixels. And we want a margin bottom to be zero. We don't want any space between the description and the title. And now let's work on the second P 
the tag which is description and we'll just um, also I'll just change the font weight to be a 500 okay so font weight of this one should be 300 and text align to be center and font size to be 15 pixels <clears throat> also margin top I want it to be zero and let's work on our third ID and we're just price so you want our font weight to be a 400 a little bolder than the description but a little lighter um, than the name and we want our font size to be a 15 pixels and our margin top to be zero okay oh and also text align center and as you can see that looks much much better however you can also see that um, the white box is not aligned so let's actually go here and change uh, the image width and height so we want our image width we want our image width to be about two hundred and fifty pixels and we want our height to be about 400 pixels so slightly like 100 pixels smaller than um, the white box the the height of the white box okay that looks slightly better now we also want our text to fit so we'll go here and actually change the layout item actually will change the properties of p description this one right here since we don't have a margin bottom of zero and now it looks slightly better so we'll change margin top to be zero here as well so let me just reload and now that looks better so it all fits in perfectly and yeah I feel like there is something missing. Um, I want the border radius of the original white box to be slightly more. So let's actually go here and change this and the text align center. Let's reload that. And now that looks much better since the image is now at the center. So now each and every corner is round. Before it was just the bottom, which was which looked round, but now it's the top and bottom, which we wanted. And now that that's sorted, let's include, let's just copy and paste everything else meaning the products that we are going to showcase so now that i have created my first product blue floral dress and it has the description and price i want each image to have the same thing okay so let's go over to our products folder and as i said earlier or mentioned earlier i have pre-downloaded the images in which i got from amazon and from the Amazon website clothing. So we are going to go over and copy and paste everything. But we're gonna do this like, we're gonna have like around 10 to 12 boxes. So 10 to 12 images will be used. Now I have that completed. 
So I'm just going to be reloading the page. And voila! So now all the images have um, is being has been shown case sorry has been showcased. So uh, now I'm just going to adjust the width of the images, uh, the width of the images, because I can see some of them have uh, look too wide, some of them look too narrow. So I'm just going to edit. Okay, so now I have that done. The images look fortunate and yeah, so I don't think anything else needs to be changed. So if you liked this video, please give this video a like. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. And also if you have not subscribed yet, please do hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell in order to not not to miss any uh, video from these web series until next week bye wow, wow.